So if you want to find out if we really like this song, well, you're going to have to stay tuned and find out. Yes, and if you want early access and uncut videos, then check out our Patreon right now. If you join, it's seven-day free trial before you're charged. Only $5 a month for some really amazing reaction videos. So thanks for watching, and welcome to the show. What is good, you sexy son of a gun? It's Billy. It's Taz. It's the Taz and Philly Show, and we are back with another reaction video. Oh, 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 oh. All right, anyway. I was adding my own effects, all right, pal? So, we're back, and we're back with another PayPal. We're back with another PayPal donation request. That was a tongue twister. Um, looking forward to this. I don't know this one, so... It'll be cool because this one is new to me, which means that 100% will be new to Taz, just like, <laughs> just like mostly everything in life. Um, I know all about flaws. I'm working with one. <laughs> that was almost good. Anyway, thank you. So uh, Taz is not a comedian by any means, but he attempts to be, and uh, he fails miserably. So we're going to move on to the song instead, and Taz will be giving the, uh, the donation request shout out. We're going to thank you again, as always, for supporting the channel. Uh, even though you're an asshole, we do appreciate it. Uh, that means, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The people an asshole. I'm just kidding. Is it, what? Am I wrong? <laughs> I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm wrong. All right. You can cut that out if you want. If not, leave it in and we'll let him know that he's an asshole. But we love him anyway. It's funny. I'm leaving it here because you made it. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, thank you very much for... Uh, you know, um, your donation. Thank you for the support of the channel, as always. And um, this is going to be Flaw. That's the name of the group. The song is called Hole. Uh, honestly, this this is more like what I suspected when we, we get songs from this gentleman, is it's always something that I don't think I'll hear. So this is the first time tonight, because we've done a couple other songs that we at least I knew. knew of the, well, I knew one of the songs, and then I knew of a group, but I didn't know the song they sang. This, I don't know shit about it. So that's... <clears throat> That's kind of why I like it because this could be literally this could be gangster rap, this could be country, this could be some kind of jib jab, you know, circus band. We have no idea what we're getting with him, but uh, we're about to find out. So Taz, feel free, give the thank you, the the uh, the you know, the shout out to who it is, and uh, we'll get into it. Yeah, this is one of our personal friends, actually, but he's also been a supporter to the channel. Um spreading us out on social media, liking and commenting on our songs, and also PayPal donation requests such as this one. Uh, but we keep it real and authentic. That's what this channel prides itself on. So even though he's a friend of ours, we'll still let you know if we hate the song or not, Kaufman. And that's who the person is, Kaufman. Thank you so much for your donation to the song. Um, for this song, I've never heard of the name Flaw either. I don't know if it's a group or a soloist. I don't know how it's performed or any genre. And that's intentional. We don't like to do much research because we like to be a surprise as much as possible. So for all you little tiny minute people that say, you guys should have known some things about the singer before you reacted to them, <laughs> go find a reaction channel that does the research. We like to be raw and authentic. And then we like it when you educate us if we don't know something or we don't pick up on something because that's our conversation. Otherwise, we're just talking to air. So that's how this channel works. If you like it, we adore you. If you don't like it, deuces. So let's, um, before I hit play, make sure that you support the musicians. We're big on custom um, customer. We're big on music appreciation. Um, the links will be in the description so you can like and comment and subscribe to their song if you like it. And if you want to go a step further and purchase any music they have out there, please do so. Just imagine if it was you. That being said, Let's get into this song, um, and we'll commentate more afterwards. So here we go. Ooh, I like that. So maybe I am bound by fate, a problematic scarring induced by hate. It never seems to all pan out Is that what all this teaching Is needed to scout You seem to have A bad effect Your rules and contradictions I would neglect Though not my fault You make me feel Like my own
Okay, I saw you jamming out and stuff like that. You go. <laughs> this was me real quick. This is one of the reasons why we don't like to do too much research. We had no idea what to expect. And then a little tiny part of our brain was like, okay, Kaufman suggested this because Kaufman has, we love eclectic people and he has eclectic to the max. So you never know what you're going to get with his choices. But at the same time, that's fun because it's like you don't know what you're going to get. So go, Philly. You're on mute. Yeah. Um, first thing I was thinking now, I don't, I don't, maybe I'm not right about this, but at least as I'm sitting here right now, I think out of all the songs that he has suggested so far to this channel, this might be the one I like the most. Um, definitely up my alley. This will be one that I will definitely download myself and I'll check what? out more about it. Um, <laughs> they have a very like new metal sound to me. Um, I heard a lot of influences in their music of other bands that I really like. Like, for example, I felt like there was definitely some corn in there. And when I say this, I'm not talking about the lead singer's voice specifically. I'm talking about the sound, the 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 riffs of the guitar, the way they played. Like those do I don't know the guy's names, I apologize, but the bassist and the guitar player, thousand percent, in my opinion, were influenced by Corn. Their look, the way they played the instruments, some of that hard, rough, kind of grimy sort of riffs that they had. Uh, I heard Tool in there. I heard fucking um, a little bit of Alice in Chains. Um, so, so definitely, definitely cool. They, 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 I have to believe they're influenced by some of those groups. Um, but I, I definitely heard Corn in there. Corn is a band that I, you know, liked for since the late nineties. Matter of fact, um, they're coming around this area again. I think in like September, I want to go check them out. Last time I saw them was probably like the early two thousands. Uh, right. But but yeah, I, I mean, I dug it. I, I don't know anything about this group, so I don't know if this is the normal sound or what out what have you. But uh, but but as a first impression, definitely definitely intrigued me to check out more. Um, but yeah, that's definitely going to be added to my uh, to my playlist for sure. Did you hear that, Kaufman? You better write this damn date down when this pops up to be um, shown to everyone that he, your friend that you've known longer than me, wants to put one of your songs on his playlist. What? <laughs> I'm being silly. Yeah, this was a great surprise. Like for me, like it had that, it had that rock, that edge to it, and it also had some rap in there. He did a little bit of some bars in there, and it was tastefully done. He had that anger, that angst, that that pain in his voice, which sounds befitting in the song, talking about, you know, like he's no longer being whole. Um, and I was I was looking up the lyrics while Philly was talking, because keep in mind, we only listen to these songs at first play. We don't like to pause our songs 8000 times because that really breaks us out of being immersed into the songs. And sometimes I can get a song like right away and sometimes. It may take me a little bit longer, but obviously I'm not going to react to this twice. So I wanted to see, I wanted to look at the the chorus part. Um, then you came right in tearing out my soul. How could all this loss be your only goal? I'm left standing here desperate in the cold. Since you took your life, mine has not been whole. Just the chorus part there is 
deep as hell. And then, so you see like the, you see this little child at one point, you see this older woman, which maybe was his uh, mother figure. And you see her looking all like, um, like not healthy, you know, like I think like it was in a, a bride dress or a veil and, you know, disarrayed makeup. And you've seen all these like dismal pictures and stuff. And from what it sounds like, it sounds like his life has been not the best. It's been in turmoil. It's It hasn't been like proper type of love and guidance or what have you. And then all of a sudden you just leave me out in the cold, as he said, and then he's no longer whole. So um, that is really a strong point because I think, not I think, I know it's relatable. There's a lot of people who have lost people in their lives and in some way that they're no longer whole. Um, and it, it doesn't sometimes matter whether you had the perfect life or maybe not. Like there are, there are people actually that I personally know who they may not have had the best upbringing, but they still love that other person for whatever reason. And then when that other person like dies, like let's say somebody dies to like drugs or whatever, they still don't feel that they're whole because that person still meant something to them, even though they caused them chaos and turmoil. So it's something you need to appreciate because I can't tell them that they shouldn't have loved them because I wasn't there growing up with them. So this is really, this is a good song. So Kaufman, you know, like I said, we keep it real. We tell you many times if your song, we don't like it. We also will give you accolades if we say thank you. So I'm saying thank you too. I've never heard of this band before and they had that great rocker voice. Like I said, they had that, The now, now hearing the song and the meaning their voice depicted that like he had that anger and that pain and that angst and like i said and then he threw a surprise in with the rap so that's really cool to me that gives him that extra edge because not all rockers can like do rap elements so like you're like oh wow what else do they have in their little arsenal so let us know in the comments anybody if you know anything else about them like have they been around for a while are they still around um where are they from um and things of that nature so we like to be educated by you rather than look almost on boring Google page. So, yeah, let's vote. All right, I guess it's time to vote. It is ass or pass, thumbs up, thumbs down. Why is it ass? Because it sucked. It's ass. We're going to give it a thumbs down. Why is it not ass? Well, it didn't suck. We'll give it a thumbs up. It's really simple. Taz will count to three. I will drum roll. We will rate the song together. Taz, are you ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one. Boom. Yep. I guess you probably could have guessed that before we got to the thumbs up part. But yeah, we gave it away pretty much. <laughs> that's all right, though. It happens sometimes. Wow. But, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the uh, suggestion. This was a good one. Um, can't wait to uh, check out the uh, up-and-coming ones. We have some more to get to here very shortly. So until then, I am Philly. That is Taz. It is the Taz and Philly Show. Have a wonderful night. Peace. Take it easy and keep it breezy. <laughs>